I recently got some new parts for it, um, and you may have noticed right away that it is in HD, the uh, video, um, using my iPod Touch. Um, it's not really truly HD, it's like 720p, uh, just stretched out to an HD uh, film uh, recliner, and then uh, there's the, I got this like a while ago, I got the white iPod Touch, 32 gig or whatever, so I figured I'd buy that. Um, and I might just get the white iPhone, I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, I'll just get on with the video here. Um, so, so far, you guys already know that I have the white springs, the white progressive springs on here. Uh, all RPM stuff, like RPM shock towers, body mounts, shock towers in the rear too. A-arms, top and bottom. And what I recently picked up for 60 bucks for all four are the axle carriers. Uh, from RPM, the everything is pretty much RPM on this. I'm gonna have to upgrade the drive shafts, but because um, they're starting to lag out a bit. Uh, but I got these recently um, in the mail. It came out to like 65 bucks or something like that with these. Um, so that's really good. I'll get the thicker tow link soon and stuff. So I'll have this thing completely ready for brushless. Um, I, as you guys may know, I said I was getting a brushless system, but uh, I just don't know when I'm gonna get that. So. Anyway, for now, I'm just upgrading everything it needs to be upgraded for brushless. For right now, uh, this is plenty strength for the two uh, Titan 550 motors. It's plenty strength for that because it's not going so fast, right? So, and usually when you upgrade with these big motors, you want to upgrade the parts because you're going to be snapping them all the time with how many rolls and flips and crap you have because it's so much power. So, I figured I'd upgrade everything first before I got the Mamba Monster. So I'm just not sure when I'm going to get that. So um, I'm waiting patiently. I'm just not sure when I'm going to figure stuff out for that. But um, I might get some new uh, new tires and stuff like that. The ones that were are on the, I think it's, yeah, it's the Emax brushless edition that comes stock on it. Those tires would probably go, do good on these. Um, but anyway, for now, I just have the stock electronics. Uh, and stock shocks and stuff. I'll be getting big bore shocks and I'll have this thing completely decked out. Maybe I'll take off the chassis and dye it black. I'm just not sure yet. Um, and uh, yeah, so far everything's running pretty good on it. And um, I just re recently rebuilt the connectors on it because I resoldered them. They fell off and stuff because they were really weak. So I added some heat shrink, some heat shrink onto that too. Um, so that's really good and uh, now it's nice and sturdy and also what I recently did here was when you take off the wheel I put a wheel spacer in here as you can see if you just look right in between here take this off and then there's a little pin of course always there your pin you pull that out put it aside and you get this whole spacer thing that I put in there myself so it works really good and um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the update for the Traxxas Emax. Um, I'll be having more updates and running videos of this soon. Just feel free to check out the other videos and take it easy.